It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. One of my favorite movies of all time by far is The Dark Knight. It's directed by Christopher Nolan and it has Morgan Freeman, Heath Ledger, and Kristen Bale. Now, one of the most famous lines within this movie is something like this. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. So the question then becomes, why exactly am I referring to the Dark Knight? The main reason I'm referring to it is largely because on Twitter, there's actually an account that is known as Libs of TikTok. And what they particularly specialize is basically reposting videos of other TikTokers who might come across as crazy. I have no particular issue of reposting videos you find crazy. That's fine, that's dandy. However, the actions that they have been taking lately has really crossed the line when it comes down to the whole entire issue about what is considered to be cancel culture. Now, this particular comment comes directly from Facebook. When I tell you, Butler, Pennsylvania is corrupt, but no one wants to listen after today's events, maybe people will start listening to which this comment says, too bad they weren't a better shooter, to which the comment then replied, for a person to which another dev is like corrupt and evil. Why think like that? To which she replies, he is the definition of corrupt and evil. To which this comment says, what the actual fucking hell? You can go fuck yourself, you fucking ignorant piece of shit. The whole entire situation got so excavated to a point that where somebody actually found that woman who said that comment out loud, went to Home Depot, and basically used the camera against her. Are you Darcy Waldron? I yeah. Waldron, yeah. Okay, from Cayuga? And you think that the shooter should have been a better shot? Is that what you posted on Facebook? You think that the uh, shooter should have been a shooter, huh? I am at work. Yeah, I think that's pretty messed up. Pretty anti-American, if you ask me. As a veteran, I'm disgusted. What have you provided to this country? Huh? I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. You are ridiculous. And I'm making you famous. After all of that happened, Libs of TikTok basically stated this. Hi, Home Depot. Are you aware that you employ people who call for political violence and the assassination of presidents? Any comment? Now, the PR department of Home Depot responded to Libs of TikTok. Hi, this individual's comments don't reflect the Home Depot or our values. We can confirm she no longer works at the Home Depot. Ever since the whole entire Home Depot controversy, they have continued to go after people who have made offbeat comments. Meet Anderson Scott. She appears sad that the shooter missed and wishes he had a better scope. These are the people educating your kids. Now, she posted a picture of that particular teacher, and of course, the comments said right here that they wish that they had a better scope. Now, in direct response to what Libs of TikTok posted, Superintendent Ryan Walters of Oklahoma stated, I have investigated enough. I would be taking her teaching certificate. She would no longer be teaching in Oklahoma. This again comes directly from Facebook. Meet Amanda Brewer, public school counsel at Boonville Elementary. She's disappointed that the shooter missed. People like this don't deserve to be alone with your child. Now, the comment says right here for this particular case, I'm currently sitting on the beach this afternoon, disturbed by the fact, sickened with myself, that I was disappointed the shooter missed when I saw the news yesterday. I have allowed that horrible, horrible man to make me better enough to have such an experience. I was horrified when folks on social media posted they hope he would die when he had COVID in 2020. Have I become that cynical? To which Libs of TikTok basically posted this. 
hi, is this one of your employees? And of course, he officially resigned right here. So the question then becomes that the actions of Lips of TikTok actually falls underneath the legal definition of doxing. Doxing is typically defined as search for or public, private, or identifying information about a particular individual on the internet, typically with malicious intent. By this particular measurement, I'm not a lawyer, by the way, I would say that what libs of TikTok is actually doing doesn't necessarily fall by any sort of legal definition of doxing. And the main reason why I say that is largely because the Facebook accounts that libs of TikTok actually published on their page was publicly available information. That will mean that for somebody to join Facebook or any type of social media, they have the option to actually write down their personal employer. They're also allowed to write down their real name on that particular website. And so by writing your name, by writing your employees or your phone number out in the public, I would say you're giving consent to have that kind of information actually published. Thus, it does not necessarily actually fit underneath the definition of doxing. Now, cancel culture is typically defined as the phenomenon or practice of publicly rejecting, boycotting, or any support from particular people or groups because of their socially or morally unacceptable views or actions. The second definition is to share attitudes and values with a particular segment of society that led to public rejection of particular people or groups. Now, this particular term is relatively new. But this idea, this notion of public shunning of people is not necessarily anything new in the slightest. It's actually a form of tribalism, you can say. For example, if somebody were to say, okay, I don't believe in a God, well, you are actually a heretic, therefore you're going to be shunned directly by society just because you are a particular heretic or in the past for the case of gay people, oh, you're gay, you must stay in the closet. Otherwise, if you go out the closet, it's not socially acceptable. You cannot necessarily work here or do whatever because we deem it so. And so public shunning or this sort of tribalism has no political side whatsoever. So people from the right are guilty of this kind of shunning people on the left are also pretty much guilty of this kind of shunning too. And so the shunning of people using culture and means of like losing jobs, this is not anything new. It has been happening ever since humans have been going around since the caveman days. That said, I will say that there's actually a certain level of severity when it comes to the comments. For example, a person getting canceled over a joke that they made five years ago is not the exact same level as somebody wishing for the assassination of a president. They're also completely different scenarios that we're basically talking about. However, if we want to be morally consistent, we have to be against all kinds of cancellations to be against cancel culture. Because you cannot argue, I am actually against cancel culture, and then in the same breath say, I'm in favor of the cancellation of that particular individual, because that individual said comments I don't particularly like. Two things simply cannot be true at the exact same time. Additionally, like a person working at a job obviously it's under contract for like you know doing things a particular way however what a person does outside the job only represents themselves alone and therefore does not represent what the company actually has to say if the person made some sort of offbeat comments about political issues at the job of course the person with the name tag actually represent the company but if a person says that outside the company, then it does not necessarily represent the needs of that particular company. 
And so I don't necessarily understand going after an old woman at a Home Depot just because she made some sort of offbeat comments about Donald Trump. Now, whether or not the comments are actually morally reprehensible or not is a whole entire separate issue on whether or not somebody should be fired from their job simply for comments that people don't like. And I think we need to be morally consistent about this particular issue Otherwise, we look hypocritical in the process. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I will see you guys next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.